Life is about experiences. Everybody's experience is different, unique to them. I think as a parent, it's important to do your best to craft an experience for your child that when they're older, they can appreciate. I think we all have been raised and learned from our parents you know, so many different things, whether it be the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do. I think it's so important to take that into consideration as you're raising your child. I've had a lot of different experiences over the past couple weeks with my son. I'm talking in this like really mellow tone voice because it's the first time I've been, I just pulled over, just wanted to sit still for a second (laughs) on this Veterans Day, happy Veterans Day to all the vets out there. Oh, man, we flew to, to Maryland for my sister's baby shower. And I think every parent should have to fly with their toddler by themselves, their, their, their kid by themselves, kid under, <laughs> like, eight. <laughs> Such an interesting experience for you and them. We had a great time. And one thing I feel like I learned on this trip We've flown before, but this time was different. We haven't flown in a while, but we travel a lot, but we haven't flown in a minute, in a while, like maybe a year, two years, at least two years, I think, yeah. And, you know, it was just, it was a lot of fun from from the start to finish. I didn't tell them we were flying until the morning of, and it was just a very cool day. I was proud to see how his personality is in public, how we interact with people and just the whole day and how things went. And I I reminded myself, it's like everything about today, this travel, this trip can be a teachable moment, right? I didn't want to just be so overbearing, like you can't do this, don't do that, don't do that. Have fun, but this is your area to color in. My son is really into art and creating. And so I like to set the boundaries, but I put him a little looser, but making sure he knows you gotta stay within those boundaries. So as we're walking, hey, you can go all through this part of the train to this part of the train, but stay in this part, you know? And he understood that when we were walking, sometimes I made him hold my hand, sometimes I didn't, but anytime we were to crosswalk, kept reminding them, look both ways before you cross, don't run across the street, you can't be that too far away from me. It got to the point where we're crossing the street and he's telling me, hey, look both ways, daddy. <laughs> so it's good, I know he's listening, he's paying attention in this. I feel like that's the whole goal. When we're sitting in our seat, you know, of course, he's kicking the chair in front of us and had to have him apologize, but then he's learning, hey, don't kick the chair. He saw my knee bump in the chair, he's like, don't let your knee bump the chair, Daddy. I'm like, hey, man, I can't help that. But <laughs> it was just a very interesting experience. And it was at times that I wanted to be like, don't do that or don't do this and just ride. And of course, you're, you're in public, in the airport. It can be stressful. It can be anxiety if you don't have anything ready. You got to have your ID. You got to go through security. But it's just a trip. Things are going to happen. You just you just prepare. You prepare mentally for the day ahead. I think that's one thing. One of my biggest takeaway from this experience as a parent is do your best. I do my best the night before, the morning before, before I get out of bed to prepare for the experience of that day, whether it be a fun day or a day filled with challenges because the the days where challenges are gonna come, but they don't know anybody. You gotta prepare yourself as the parent for that responsibility and prepare your emotions and how you react. You know, it's easy to get frustrated and let yourself get bothered and then project those emotions on the kid when it's really not, they they don't know what they're doing. You know, it's not really their fault. It's not their fault. They're still learning. Imagine 
you're at your job and you're getting blamed for so much stuff that you really don't know how to do. Like you knew it. You, you might know a little bit, but you're not. You're not the supervisor, right? You don't want to be blamed for that. So I kind of take that type of mindset into consideration when we when we when we out and about or we're going through this experience. Still, so much to learn. So many more life events to go through. But traveling with your child, creating those memories of those experiences, I think is is special and important. And teachable moments. Everything's a teachable moment. As a parent you, and a man, especially man, you got to be prepared to do hard things. I'm not saying it's going to be easy to travel, but there, there's there's so many lessons for for you as the parent and the kid, right? I'm, I'm walking to the car as we get back and I'm like carrying the car seat. I'm, I got my rolling uh, suitcase, luggage. I'm trying to carry, wrap his hand or just make sure I keep him with his arm reaches. We're in the parking deck. And then right at, almost as we at the car, a guy comes and whispers to me. He says, hey man, go on Amazon, search up, travel car seat, something X, Y, Z, make your life so much easier. I'm like, Bro, at the end of the trip, this is when I found out they got travel car seat. So I went and looked at some, man, I will never travel again with this full car seat again, you hear me? I will definitely be investing in a travel car seat and I recommend anybody who travels with kids to get one because if you know anything about traveling with one of those big car seats, man, it is a task. Again, especially if you're doing it by yourself. So, man, I'll try to find something and even post a little clip of what they look like in here. I hope everybody has a good day. I hope everybody who watches this video is encouraged to enjoy the experiences and be, pre be prepared for what experiences may come when it comes in parenting and life. The good days and bad, prepare your mind before you get out of bed. That you can make it through, you can get through it. A day is just another day. It's only 24 hours in a day. The time is going to keep on going. So you got to keep going. Got to keep going. So the next time, I am PJD. It's been a while, but I've had a lot of brain fog and trying to really put into words the things I wanted to talk about with creativity and how I wanted to look and frame. But sometimes I realize it's okay to just talk to get it out there even if it's just for myself you know my algorithm is full full of so many creators and how to grow how to grow on YouTube and all these tips and tricks but really I believe there's a section on YouTube there's gotta be where you know people just wanna have conversations and hear perspectives of different people's experiences and take from that what they will especially in today's climate and society how do you find the strength? How do you, how do you, how do you keep going? How do you do this? How do you do that? From people who've done it or people who are doing it. So if that's you, I encourage you to keep doing the same. I appreciate you. I appreciate some of my friends who are taking the plans into creating their content. Shouts out to my homie Olivia, who's doing an amazing job with her role with me series. I love to see it, love to watch it. Make sure y'all check that out too. And just, man, everybody stay encouraged. Keep going. To the next time, I am about to go. I already said to the next time, huh? This is a veteran thing. I'm about to go try to find some free food, <laughs> some more free coffee. Yeah. All right.